It's finally happening. After months of speculation, clearer signs are now pointing toward the DJI Neo 2 making its long-awaited debut this November 2025. And this time, the timeline actually lines up perfectly with DJI's typical release cycle. For a while, we've been hearing whispers about DJI preparing its next-generation sub-250 gram drone, and now, those rumors are starting to solidify. What's most exciting is that this tiny machine might look like a palm-sized toy at first glance, but the DJI Neo 2 is shaping up to deliver the kind of performance that creators, travelers, and even complete beginners can genuinely enjoy. Today, let's dive deep into its expected timeline, major upgrades, and why this might just be the most exciting mini drone release of the year. Let's begin with the release window. According to reliable sources, the DJI Neo 2 is expected to be officially announced around mid-November 2025. This timeline is backed by insider reports, dealer preparations, and DJI's predictable product patterns. If you've followed DJI launches before, you'll know that the company typically takes around 110 days to unveil a product after it first appears in FCC filings. Interestingly, the Neo 2 was spotted in FCC listings back in late July, which perfectly aligns with a mid-November release. Even if DJI decides to delay things slightly, the drone would still likely appear before mid-January 2026, as the FCC embargo expires around that time. This sets a release window between November 10th and early January, though November feels far more realistic, especially with DJI wanting to hit the lucrative holiday season. So, all signs point toward a November launch, which would make perfect sense both strategically and commercially. Now, let's talk about what kind of drone the DJI Neo 2 actually is. Like its predecessor, it stays comfortably under the 250-gram weight class, meaning no registration hassles in most countries. But this isn't just another compact selfie drone anymore. DJI appears to be evolving it into something far more versatile. The Neo 2 seems to take inspiration from the Sinwoop FPV category, a small yet agile drone that can safely fly indoors while delivering the fluid, immersive movement typical of FPV systems. That means we are looking at a lightweight body with built-in propeller guards, excellent maneuverability in tight spaces, and a design that prioritizes both safety and creativity. In other words, it bridges the gap between an entry-level beginner drone and a mini FPV-style platform. It's easy to fly but still capable of dynamic, cinematic movement, ideal for creators who want the thrill of FPV footage without the steep learning curve. One of the most significant improvements with the DJI Neo 2 is its upgraded battery system. The original model came with a 1,435 mAh battery, but this time, DJI is bumping it up to 1,660 mAh. That might not sound huge on paper, but in practice, it makes a noticeable difference, extending flight time from around 18 minutes to roughly 20 to 25 minutes. Those extra minutes can be crucial, especially when you're shooting quick clips, tracking subjects, or experimenting with FPV-style moves. Thanks to its ultralight body, this modest increase in capacity actually goes a long way, giving pilots more airtime without sacrificing agility. It's a thoughtful upgrade that fits perfectly with DJI's ongoing mission to maximize performance and compact designs. The DJI Neo 2 isn't just about battery gains, it's also about improved flight stability and control. This tiny drone now boasts level 5 wind resistance, a major step up for such a small aircraft. That means it can remain stable even in breezy outdoor environments where lighter drones typically struggle. Its top speed also gets a noticeable bump, reaching up to 16 meters per second in sport mode. This makes it capable of quick, cinematic maneuvers and responsive direction changes, especially useful when filming action shots or dynamic tracking sequences. But perhaps the biggest leap forward comes from the transmission system. DJI is equipping the Neo 2 with its O4 video transmission technology, which supports an impressive 10km range under FCC standards. Even if you don't plan to fly that far, the benefit is in the quality, a cleaner, more stable video feed with reduced lag and interference. This means smoother real-time monitoring, better framing precision, and more confident control, even in environments with signal congestion. DJI is also stepping up the automation game with a Neo 2, adding some of its latest AI-driven flight features. The new model will include ActiveTrack 6.0, gesture control, 
voice commands, and full compatibility with the RC motion controller. That motion controller, for those unfamiliar, allows pilots to steer the drone with hand movements instead of traditional dual stick input, creating a more immersive and intuitive flying experience. It's ideal for beginners who want a more natural learning curve or for creators who want smoother, more organic flight paths. Active Track 6.0 has also been improved to handle subject recognition and movement more precisely. It locks onto subjects with greater accuracy, keeping them centered in the frame even as they move unpredictably. Combined with gesture and voice commands, the DJI Neo 2 becomes a highly user-friendly platform for solo creators, vloggers, and travelers who want hands-free flight control without compromising performance. Of course, no DJI drone discussion would be complete without talking about the camera. The DJI Neo 2 receives one of its biggest upgrades here. It now houses a 1 by 1 3 inch CMOS sensor, which is a substantial leap from the original Neo's smaller half inch sensor. This improvement brings several benefits, notably better low light performance, wider dynamic range, and richer color reproduction. The Neo 2 can now shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second, supports 10 bit HDR recording, and even includes D log M for creators who prefer to color grade in post. These are professional grade features typically reserved for mid-tier drones like the Mini 4 Pro, making it remarkable to see them in something this compact. Storage also gets a practical boost, with 22 GB of built-in memory. It's not massive, but it's a handy addition for spontaneous flights, especially if you forget your micro SD card. This internal storage is perfect for quick aerial captures without setup delays, something many creators will appreciate in real-world use. So, how much better is the DJI Neo 2 compared to its predecessor? Quite a lot, actually. The overall weight remains similar, around 135 grams, but nearly every other feature sees an upgrade. The camera sensor delivers visibly cleaner and more detailed footage. Wind resistance improves from basic levels to level 5, the transmission range doubles to 10 kilometers, and the drone's overall construction feels sturdier with enhanced propeller guards, making indoor flights safer and smoother. All of these refinements turn the Neo 2 from a basic entry-level toy into a true compact content creation machine. It's no longer just a fun little drone, it's something creators can actually rely on for cinematic shots, travel vlogs, or creative FPV-style storytelling. If the launch indeed happens in November 2025, it'll hit the market right before the holiday rush, perfect timing for both new pilots and experienced creators looking for something fresh. With the FCC embargo ending around mid-January 2026, there's little doubt that we're on the final countdown. In short, the DJI Neo 2 could be the mini drone that finally feels professional, one that merges compact design with the kind of power and polish usually reserved for larger models. If DJI delivers on all these expectations, the Neo 2 won't just be a fun gadget, it'll be one of the most capable small drones the company has ever made.